Oh, hello, weirdos. I'm Jake. I'll be the DM for tonight. We're going to play Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus with... I have a bunch of friends here who uh, we'll, we'll find out if they're still going to be my friend by the end of it. If uh, they could have had their character immediately killed, I asked them right before we started if everyone likes sandwiches in real life. If that, that if I would have gotten a no, it would have been a, about an hour of just me describing how their character dies. So that's a positive. Let's do some recap. What happened last time was we're in Van Thamper Villa, uh, Villa and uh, we're trying to hunt down the source of Baldur's Gate evil, kind of? It's, it's, it's an evil city, but this is an extreme example. We're trying to prevent another El Terrell, which we found out through various sources had disappeared and uh, possibly down into the hells, the nine hells of Bator. And um, so we're in Van Thamper Villa. We've killed two Van Thamper children. They're not children, they're adult children. Children of Duke Van Thamper. Uh, one of them got away, the only semi-decent one. And um, you guys also made a, uh, a friend in a Tresom cat named Slobber Chops, who likes snacks and apparently has a Chicago accent. And you guys are still upstairs, or we can start downstairs. You just told the butler who was bringing a sandwich up to Thirstwell to get lost. Yes, I believe we were on our way downstairs already. Because Slobber Chops told you to go to the kitchen, and there's like a back room. Yeah. I think. Well... He's telling you now. <laughs> I was like, shit, I don't remember that. Uh, <laughs> He's telling you now. So, it, sorry, clarification. Yes. Is, is Thirstwell dead? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, I believe I uh, drove a knife through his throat. Nope, that was Amaric. Um Can't remember if Thirstwell died, but someone killed him. One of us did. Okay. Yeah, he died very quickly. <laughs> it didn't last long. I think it was oh, roller okay. I remember that. Yeah, yeah I may have. May have wrecked him. So somebody definitely did. He didn't check himself. Was the real issue? <laughs> that was the issue. That was the issue. Yes, I believe we've abandoned the sandwich because it was slightly rotten. Um, on our way to the basement. Oh, the butter sandwich. That's what it was. The, cool. Yeah, the slightly turned butter sandwich um, that I gingerly <laughs> placed on the floor. Correct. It is now on and, the floor. Uh, Slobber Chops is leading the way to the basement. Did he agree to that? No, I'm just hoping he'll do that now. You can Slobber Chops, him. will you take us to the basement? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just down. You got another snack? Yep. Another yep. snack for him. So, make, who's keeping track of the snacks? We haven't given it a number, <laughs> but this is going to be a This is, I finite... believe... From me, number four. Oh, man. What happens when you Are run you, out of snacks? You are the only one who had the cat snacks yeah. for obvious reasons. So, how, how many cat snacks come in a bag? 20. Okay. So I've got 16. I gave away a couple to you guys. To, let's say oh, that's right. 14 we all, now. We all ate one. <laughs> so, you know, who knows what will happen to answer whoever asked that question uh, when you run out of snacks. I will say this. Ancient dragons have the ability a lot of times to polymorph themselves. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Good Whoa. to know. Good Into to a know. fat cat named Slobber Chops. A, a very <laughs> lazy fat cat. <laughs> yep. Uh, Great ability. So he happily takes a snack, and uh, as he's going down the stairs, he kind of uses his wings to just make him lighter on his feet as he kind of trots down the stairs and uh, heads into the kitchen and uh, heads to a back room and just kind of looks at it and is waiting for one of you to open the door. Uh, this one's lever. All right, yeah. yeah. Open the door. Uh, Dave, I assume since you can cast your speak with animals... 
Like yeah, it's infinite, probably almost like, at the ten minute mark, but it's. But I don't think you. Is it a long rest or can you do it infinitely? I will check on that. Okay. Uh, and you head into this back room, and there's some stairs that go down. And. Okay, that is down to that V20. Into a cellar type of area. As you head down the stairs, uh, Slobber Chops basically, once you guys start heading down the stairs, he waits back because he did his job. Uh, right. And um, as you come down the stairs to a flat area, you see a large room, which is about 10 to 15, uh, 35 feet by. 35 feet square, and uh, there are four stone pillars that brace the 10-foot-high vaulted ceiling of this cellar, the walls of which are lined by a dozen barrels on wooden braces. Half the barrels have brass spigots tapped into them. The room also contains two stacks of wooden crates, one in the middle of the room and another by the southern wall, which is immediately close to you because you guys are entering this space uh, from the south. Like, it drops you off on the southern part of this room. And, uh, anything you guys... There's <coughs> the no I've... visible doors? Um... There's a door to the right and a door... There's a door on the eastern side kind of close to you in a door directly on the opposite side on the western wall. Um, and uh, what's everybody's passive perception? It's a great Ten. question. As soon as I find it on this character sheet. Well, for me. So you're what, wisdom base? Thirteen. And I can cast those uh, spells as rituals anytime. Yeah, 13 as well. Okay. Um, and as you guys are looking around and coming out into the room, a box on top of the middle portion of crates that I described bursts <coughs> forth, and some familiar creatures fly out. Uh, familiar to you from the the boat, the Low Lantern, the Boat Tavern. Uh, roll initiative, because three oh. spine devils... Oh, no. <laughs> Those oh. things are nasty. Shit. Those things oh. are nasty. I guess dice would help. Just don't Eleanor try to hug it. Eleanor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> axe this time might be the way. <laughs> Spike devils are food, not friends. No. Like 10 more seconds 20. and you would have had me like walking right up to that <laughs> stack of crates. Right? <laughs> like that's where I was beelining to anyway. Perfect. We're saving time. Saving time. <laughs> 25 to 20. Uh, yes, 23. Uh, 20 to 15. 15. Jerry... 15 to 10. 10 to 5. 5. 4. Nice. And Slobber Chops kind of heads back to the base of the stairs and is just clean, cleaning himself. So, uh... Top of the round, roller coast. Three spine devils are in the middle of the room, and they're heading towards you guys. All right, taking an, a, a bow attack, whatever one's the closest, 19 to hit. Yeah. And then I will do the dread ambusher attack as well. Okay. And that is not good. An 11 to hit. That is a low flying plane outside my window um what was the damage again 
Well, it was an 11 to hit for the second attack. That doesn't. Damage yet. I assume so. Three plus three is six damage. Okay, and none of your weapons are magical, correct? Correct. And then I just don't want to be in the front of the group. I'm tired of getting knocked unconscious, so I'm going to just position myself behind my buff friends. Oh, also, I've been forgetting to remind you guys that when you get knocked unconscious and brought back, you get one level of exhaustion as well. So let's keep that in mind. Noted. Uh, Noted. I've been knocked unconscious in at least a day, so I'm good. Okay. So that same spine devil is going to, since you guys didn't, I didn't ask for a marching order, I assume it's probably Kairos or Jerry in the front. Cool. I, I was yep. opening doors. I'll go down first. The first one is that Rollercoast just hit is going to come after you, Kairos, as Rollercoast kind of ducks around the corner. And it's going to actually do kind of stop after it gets hit and do a tail spine attack which is going to be shoots its tail spines at you a 22 and a 20 yep Whew. to both damn everything's fine you guys are level 4 not when you roll 3 on your health roll <laughs> well, take the average dude nah nah never Never. <laughs> For ninnies. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's uh, 10 piercing damage. For both? Yeah, that's total. Okay. And then three fire damage as the spine spikes shoot out of the tail. I am resistant, so one fire damage. Cool. Nice. Cool. Oh, because of your... Thanks, Tiefling. Oh, Tiefling, yeah. I don't know why I was thinking of you as an Asimar. You're resistant to what? Fire. Oh, okay. Just the fire part of it. So this guy is 20 feet away, and that's his turn. Jerry, you're next. Jerry just gets his great axe out, and he kind of like, kind of like does one of these, like a baseball mm -hmm. battering. He kind of tongue like this. <laughs> waits for one to come come nearby and he kind of moves forward to get close to one swings it okay so you're, gonna, so you're gonna use 20 feet of your movement to get up close to one of them yeah and i hit i uh i rolled a 20 nice yeah that hits and, and uh it's eight eight damage okay and i like to picture that you went the entire 20 feet of that movement like winding yeah. up <laughs> <laughs> like a happy gilmore swing yep uh, anything else, Jer? Do you want to rage or anything? No. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's that that uh, spine devil's turn that you just smacked with your warm up swing, and <laughs> it is going to uh, warm up. What are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to uh, make one attack with its bite and one attack with its fork. I hate that. Why do they call it that? It sounds so stupid. All right. A 16 and a 17. Both hit. Ooh. Yeah. Barbs don't have crazy, crazy armor class. All right. That is a bad roll. That's five piercing damage on the bite and four piercing damage on the fork. Keep in mind I'm not I'm not uh having these for you. Yeah, I'm not raging, so Oh right. Bummer. Okay. <laughs> and now it is the third one's turn. Seeing an opportunity to uh, closest person is Jerry, this one is going to do the same thing as the previous one. So Jerry's getting getting smacked. A 15 and a 
11. 15 hits. Okay. That's a 5 piercing for the one that hits. And uh, this one is going to... It hits you as it's flying by, and it has an ability to fly by and not uh, provoke opportunity attacks. And it's going to fly out of range uh, about 10 feet away from you, Jer. Okay. Kairos. I believe the one that went after me kept its distance a little bit, right? Yes. Did the tail spine me, so I'm going to run up to it and try to smash its tail. Do it. Oh, that might not do it. What is it now? 13 to hit. J just hits. The AC is 13. Sweet. And that is uh, 10 points of damage okay. with my Morning Star. Smack it. And uh, that's all I'm doing. All these hits you guys are applying to it, you think feel. They feel like you're landing solidly, but they're not doing as much damage as you think. When you hit them, something magically prevents them from taking all of the damage. Oh. Jer Do I see anything pinging magically in the room? That box, perhaps, that they came out of? Do you want? Do you want to use your action to do this? Because... If you're doing it to check for loot, we can do that after. No, no, no. I you said uh, something <laughs> magically like, or it seems it's like more. Yeah, be... it's more like you hit them, and uh, that was maybe a, oh, a okay. tad misleading. You hit them, and uh, they're resistant to oh god non magic okay. weapons. Uh, yeah, Jarvis, what would you like to do? Uh, I throw a keep my distance. Throw a firebolt with a 13 which one would you like to hit oh sorry the one that um jerry went for okay so there's one that there's one that flew away from me and so. one that's right on top of him the one that's right on top of him okay what did you roll 13 yes that just hits two damage okay i throw a fireball anything else nope keeping my distance Sounds good. Roller coast back to you. <clears throat> I'm going to sharpshooter bow attack the same one that Jarvis just hit. Okay. Miss. It's way under 13. Okay. Do you have anything else you want to do or just nope, that's duck it. behind the corner? Okay. Yep. Uh, the one that's on Kairos is going to attack Kairos again. Yup. And he's going to do it with a bite and a fork. And that's a 2 and an 8 on the die for a 10 and 4. That's not going to do it. No, sir. All right. Cool. Jer? Going to swing at the one right right in front of me. Okay. Uh, with the great axe, it's a uh, 17. Yep. And it's 15 damage. Nice. That'll do it. How do you smash this thing? Batter up? <laughs> yeah. When I hit it, its tail, like, it gets, like, boom, like, concussed. And its tail, like, rolls up, like, behind it. So it kind of looks like a ball. And it just gets shot, like, like back into the box. <laughs> cool. So you're hitting it with the flat side again? Yeah. What's like a with, baseball. Like a you guys have side. got to dig into the flat side of this great axe. <laughs> Why is this happening? It's so interesting to me. Um, <laughs> this one's dead. Anything else? You could swear you hear like faint applause like as I do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nothing else then, Dave? Mm -mm. Okay. Oh, sorry. I forgot to say at the beginning of my turn that I'm raging now. Okay, bonus action rage. Cool. Yeah. I didn't know I was going to kill it, so. Next round, it is the third Spine Devil's turn, and it's going to fly right, do a flyby of you, Jer, and try to bite and fork you as it does. The 19 and a 12. Uh, the 19 hits, 
And Jared, Jared goes, geez, at least spoon me before you fork me. <laughs> I'll give you inspiration for that. Yes. <laughs> These puppies expire at the end of this session, so make sure you use it. That's five piercing damage on the bite. Okay. Kairos. I'm going to hit it again. Yep. Uh, that's a miss. That's a 10. Okay. Anything else? Nope. All right. Jarvis. Turn sweet. Uh, 12. Just misses. Oh, sorry, I'm throwing a firebolt. Yep. Uh, I roll a 12. Just misses. All right. I assume you guys are just going to attack and just tell me if you want to do something else. Roller coast. Attack, uh, sharpshooter. Yep. That's 21 minus 5, 16 to yep. hit. Do you want to uh, shoot the one next to... Next to Kairos. Okay. That's 8 plus 3, it's 11 plus 10 from sharpshooter, 21 damage. You just kill it. How do you kill it? <clears throat> Is it near a wall by any chance? Can it, it pin it, it to a wall with an arrow? Um, not really, but yeah. you, there's a ceiling. Okay, if I can get an upward angle on yeah, it. Yeah, if you kneel and kind of get a upward angle, for yeah. sure. Nail it to the ceiling. The ichor starts dripping down from its wound, and its tail is kind of like hanging from the ceiling like a... Uh, a uh, I can't believe I just forgot about what these things are called. At Christmas, you have to kiss under them. Mistletoe? Oh, mistletoe. For the love of God. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what it is. That's what it is. Thanks, brain. All right. This one's dead. That's it for me. Jerry? Um, is there one within striking distance of me? Yeah. This room's small enough you can... Yeah. Okay. All right, let me just roll my axe again. Just winding up for another at bat. But -da 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 -da. next time I'm at your house, I'm going to bring right. some dice and I'm going to yeah. he whiffs hide them in your luggage. I know. I'm sorry. So you, as soon as I got that Discord message from you, I, I was already like on the way to the airport. I was like, damn it. Um, but I I swing and a miss on this one. Okay. I roll a uh, a nine. So. Got to get a handy-dandy 3D printed carrying case for dice. Oh, whoops. I forgot that I have advantage on that because so, I'm raging now. Uh, does, uh, Are you sure you're uh, doing it recklessly? No. Uh, oh, reckless. Reckless I, think, reckless, I think, is... It gives you advantage, oh, right. and then they have advantage on attacks against you when they go. Okay, no, I'm not recklessly. I don't like that. Okay. Um, it, it wouldn't help anyway. I missed again. Uh, it is this one's turn. It's going to go after Jerry. Just attacked him with a spine attack. Um, okay, that's a 18. The other one misses. Uh, 7 piercing damage plus 6 fire damage. That's okay. not halved. Why is it not halved? Because I didn't do the math in my head. Oh, got it. I was saying, I'm I, just I, saying, I, I'm not, saying I don't get to have it. No, you, you do get to have it. It's <laughs> okay. just, uh, yeah, I didn't have it Oof. myself. Man, I guess it wasn't a waste of a rage after all. Uh, cool, that's that guy's turn. Kairos. Here you go. Woo, mod 20 for a seven. Seven damage? Yep. Okay. Uh, that is three. Jarvis, there's only one spine devil. And I'm going for said spine devil with another, oh yeah, firebolt. Uh, 23 with seven damage. Nice, nice. All right. 
Roller coast. Another sharpshooter attack. Natural 20? Yeah. Uh, it's only a 2 on the dice. Just before. describe how you kill it, because this thing is not going to withstand a crit. The, the exact same way that I killed the other one. I'm just going to start pinning these things to the ceiling. <laughs> So the next person that walks in here is just like, what the fuck Horrified. happened? <laughs> cool. You guys are temporarily or not temporarily, could be permanently, you don't know, out of combat. Oh, that's always a fun way to walk into a basement. They sure like their devils in this house. Who decorates with devils? Well, we do, apparently. I do. You do. It looks great. <laughs> and what were those dudes doing in a crate? I want to start looking at the... Pile of holes. It's got, center of the room. yeah, it's got viewing uh, holes in it, and that is, you are currently in V20, and as I, it is, so there's six barrels, and then there are, the rest of the crates have, like, dried meat, loaves of bread, wheels of cheese, other similar foodstuffs. Um, I'm going to take a hunk of dried meat. Uh, I recommend we should probably all grab some for slobber chops you know, later. Agreed. Not the salami. <laughs> Doesn't like the salami. <laughs> oh, wait. I, I don't Do we? He can speak common, right? That's what we said. He can't speak common. He can understand he can, it, but he he's, hear he's it, speaking yeah. to Jerry if Jerry right. has a speak. Like... He doesn't like the salami, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. We'll Jerry's like picking one of the spines salami. out of his skin. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like the salami, guys. Excellent. Okay. The rest how of long the have we how long have we been in this uh house now? Probably an hour. Okay. Are you asking for detect magic? Yeah, no, that would have been dead then. Okay. Uh, anything else you want to do in here? As I stated, there's a door to the west and a door to the east. Uh, the, the barrels have spigots in them, some of them, you said? Some of them have brass spigots in them. Um, I turn one and taste the liquid. Is it wine? Yep. I take a swig, too. Yeah. I just, right from the, right from the tap. Pinot. It's nice. Uh, anybody have a preference, uh, right or left? I say you can't go wrong when you're going right. Yeah, I, I always say this is the one. Right, right is right. We agree on this. I mean, last time we went left, you uh, kind of fell over a, a wall and made a lot of noise. So let's go right. Because it's because we didn't go right. <laughs> that's why that, that's why that happened. Yeah. And I uh, I gingerly touch the door to test if it's locked. Uh, it is not locked. Uh, Slobber Chop says to you, Jerry says, "Hey, Jerry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stay back because I, I, I want snacks, but I don't want damage." Be the snack. Is he just? Is he? <laughs> is he gesturing with his paw like that? Yes. <laughs> and this is like not a normal, obviously not a normal cat. It's bigger than a house cat. Um, yeah, yeah. And it's um, crazy, so. Meanwhile. I, uh, as uh, Slobber Chops is going to hang back, it's he's just. Yeah, no, it's probably better. He's going to. I just done enough, out. and I take a piece of the dried I, meat and I, throw him his way. I bring him. my uh, no, my spidey you. friend back into existence with a stealth of fifteen, and I send him under the door to see what is ahead. Did you already open the door, Kairos, or were you just checking? Nope, I just okay. tested it. So, um, about to though. <laughs> the spider heads out. Under the door, and comes out into. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that was. Uh, comes out into a tunnel, a ten foot wide tunnel with a central uh, uh, trench with water flowing through it. Uh, the tunnels are nine feet high, approximately. They have curved ceilings, oil lanterns, uh, hang at regu regular intervals with panes of green tinted glass, a hang from one foot long iron chains, chains and uh, they shed dim light in a 10 foot radius. Not too important since all of you have dark vision. 
Uh, and what's the name of your spider? Quick. Uh, Spider-Man. <laughs> I'm going to go with Toby. That, that's what happens when you say quick. <laughs> yeah. I, I, that's, that was the point. Nope. I wanted to see what nope. you'd come uh, up with under pressure. Nope. We're going, we're going to Felix. His name is Felix. Okay. Felix. Felix. Uh, what's his perception? What's his passive? Uh, let me look. So he hears some talking coming from the northern. So this this tunnel runs north to south. And from what you can tell from your vantage point, the southern you're you're you guys are kind of in the midpoint of this tunnel and the northern portion you hear voices coming from the uh where it branches west his wisdom's a uh plus zero um oh passive perception 12 there it is okay so yeah how far uh how far ahead can i see sorry does your spider have dark vision yes 30 feet of dark vision. Yeah. So I guess so. I can see 30 feet. Yeah. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to crawl up on the roof on the ceiling, yep. like curved ceiling. And I'm going to advance. My spider can go up to a hundred feet before I lose control of it. So I don't want to go any farther than that. Okay. Yeah. You get to that turn where it turns West and you see two people dressed in black robes, similar to some of the stuff you've encountered before and wearing masks, devil masks, gold devil masks. Um, and how far, how far down did he go before he got to that turn? He went 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 feet. Cool. Um, and I, do I see anything else other than these two guys? Any things that cost, possibly uh, Kairos could piss off that are animated? <laughs> uh no they are carrying sensors and kind of swinging them back and forth they're on either side of the trench that has water uh you guys being near the door can already start to smell that it smells a little bit bad and there's some sort of incense type smell trying to mask it and these two guys that you're seeing jarvis are swinging their sensors gently and kind of doing just walking and talking and uh yeah What's a, excuse my stupidity, what's a sensor? It's a, a metal container that contains uh, incense, smelly oh, herbs and that stuff that they, said it smells. that they uh, produce a smoke and yeah. Cool. Um, so I'm just going to quickly poof my spider back. Okay. Um, hey guys, uh, about 40 feet ahead of us, a couple guys wearing masks, uh, Swinging around some sensors. Uh, Kairos, you're noisy. They're going to hear you the second we go through this door. So, um, Do you want me to just sneaky, go make some noise me. and then sneak back and then just run back this way and draw them towards us? And when they come to the door, you can drop them into pieces. We could just go to them. That works, too. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Either one works for me, honestly, as long as I'm not in the front. So is that what you're doing? Should should we try to be sneaky, sneaky, surprise them, and let Kairos come from the rear since we keep them 40 feet back at the door? Wait, are we letting oh, them my come, God, to come us? from the I'm rear? Sick. Yeah, they're coming down a hallway. How is he coming from the rear? Aren't they? They're right around the corner, right? Yeah. So we can, like, peek around the corner. Uh, I guess. They're 40 feet up the, the tunnel yeah. north, and then it juts west, and they're coming down that western, and they're. Oh, got it. They're coming towards us. Okay. Yeah, I say we just go in, beat them yeah, up. Let's, let's, let's just go. Do it. We could be sneaky if we want to going in. I'll be sneaky. I'll be sneaky. Yeah. Maybe, we can, get the, maybe we can get the jump do a off them. Group stealth check or yeah. I'm very sneaky. So yeah, roll well. Well, oh, yep, that sounds about right. In that one. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Again. <laughs> He takes his headphones off so he can't hear any of us yelling at him. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> that Kairos can't stealth for shit. 
<laughs> I don't care that he takes off his headphones so he doesn't get chastised. <laughs> um, Sorry about that. No, it's cool. Uh, so one, what did everyone else get? Thirteen. Ten. Is it just a one, Brian? Oh, I rolled a yeah. one too. Okay. Hey. Um, <laughs> it's a one thousand so mark for me. <laughs> Are we doing a stealth check? Yeah. yeah. I got a two. <laughs> <laughs> up, what's up? All right. Classic stealth check. What did you get, Jarvis? I'm sorry. Uh, Ten. Okay. So this is definitely below their passive perception. And uh, you guys sneak out. So you're sneaking out of the room going south or north? Oh, Go we north. should probably make Towards sure this door the doesn't have any traps, guys. <laughs> Too late. Too late. So the door's open. We're already going yeah. through the door. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we're uh, heading north towards the guys. Directly at them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, door doesn't have any traps. It opens and... That's uh, good. You head out. You start going north and... Shoot them on sight. Splash, 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 splash. Kairos is Kairo kicking, kicking up water everywhere. Yeah, so they, uh, you guys are splashing, and you see some rats, and maybe one of you goes, Woo! and uh, they come running around the corner. Roll initiative. I still look like what's his face, uh, <laughs> Amrick. Amrick, yeah. Oh yeah. I also looked like the guard still forgot about that. How long does that last? An hour. It's so it'd probably hour. just be wearing off. Yeah, it's about wearing off. Okay. Uh, that's a... I can do it again if we want to just keep messing with people's minds. 25 to 20. 20 to 15. 15. 17. Fifteen to ten. Ten to five. Seven. Natural one with a three at the end. So so a three total? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Rollercoast, it is your turn. Attack and dread ambusher attack, both normal. The first one is a 14 to hit. The second one is a 25. Both hit. So that's... Nine. Let me just make sure I did my Dread Ambusher correctly. Yep. 19 total damage. Okay, so this guy's, they're rounding the corner, and they have scimitars in their hands, and describe how you kill one of these guys. <laughs> it's two, it's two arrows, right? Or is yeah, it, okay. It's two, it's two attacks, yeah. It's my right, first attack, then my dread ambusher, which hits harder if it hits. So is this like a, just a real, basically just describe what Rollercoast, when he does dread ambush, or how does it look it's, different? It's my first attack on each turn gets a, I could, not on each turn, in each combat, I get a, like, faster attack, yeah. you could say. So I just imagine myself just, like, popping two off in, like, rapid succession. Okay, so he's got, like, two in his hand or something? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, and do you want to pin this guy to the wall, or? Yeah, if there's a wall, I'm just going to be. There is, they're just rounding the corner, so there's a. Yeah, just two dead to the chest. He's definitely dead. His sensor is is f has fallen to the ground, still smoking. Uh, anything else? Nope. Uh, that's it. Kairos. Um, I can I run up and like? Did they? Did we cover enough ground before they rounded the corner that I could reach him? <laughs> Thirty feet is. I don't know what you're. Thirty feet. Cool. I'm gonna run up and uh, try to be as cool as Rollercoast just was. There's no way. <laughs> um, I do hit him, though. That's a mod 20 for nine, nine damage. Yeah. How do you want to kill him? 
Oh, I do. Um, inspired by roller coasters pinning to a wall, I take my my spiked morning star and I just jam it into his shoulder as hard as I can and try to pin him pin him through his shoulder to the wall and then just let go and just and leave slumps. for a second. He slumps down after a second. Yeah. And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. And pick up my morning star again. <laughs> Do you think gonna, he? One of these times, roller coasters. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> so you don't think Kairos knows like he would have to leave his morning star attached to the wall to pin it to the wall? Is he like? Well, he, le- he leaves it for he leaves it for a second, but then it yeah, he let go to see if it like to see to see if, it, see if it stayed, but then it slowly started to sink down after a second. So, shit. Okay. Pulls it back. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, so that you're out of combat, and uh, um, yeah, you see Kairos. What's your make a perception check? Sure. Nine. Okay. Uh, this hallway going west is very, very long, and you can kind of see shadows moving at the far end, uh, looking back to where you came from, going down the north-south hallway. There's still no sign of anything, uh, and that's for all of you. What would you like to do? I pick up one of the sensors. I'm just going to hold that in my hand as we walk for a little bit. I'm just going to check their pockets real quick. Quick pat down. Okay. Uh... There's a scimitar, there's their their black robes that they're wearing, and their masks that were completely... They're slightly different devil masks. They all have a little different shape and uh, look to them. Uh, I am going to take both of the masks and just put them in my bag, just in case. Okay. Not the robes, though? Not the robes. Okay. Just for uh, more of a proof thing. Yeah, just put uh, mark your inventory as two cultist devil masks. And uh, what'd you guys like to do? Well, let's just keep on heading this way. And I look up and down the hallway and realize there's so nowhere to really stash the bodies. Yeah, so you're I... like 40 feet away from them. That's 30 feet away from them. So are you calling down to them or are you walking back down and telling them that um i'm just gonna signal like and start <laughs> walking that way uh how deep is this water the water in the middle is you're not the sides of it aren't wet there it's the yeah. trench in the middle that's carrying the yeah. i'm more thinking about throwing bodies in the water oh it's not deep enough for that oh okay Okay. So heading, all of you are heading north and then west? Yeah. Yes. So as you turn west, about 15 feet past the turn, the there's a hallway that juts back north, and you can see it's collapsed at the end of it. Uh, and then past that, another 25 feet on the northern wall of this west-east tunnel. There seems to be a door, an iron door. And... Yeah, I think that's about as far as you can accurately perceive right now. Well, seeing the hallway collapsed as we pass it, I'm going to keep on signal behind my group that we keep on walking. Uh, I'll go up to the door and put my ear against it. Okay. So it's Kairos, then who? Mm, Jerry can be next. Yeah. Jerry. Rollercoast. Rollercoast Jarvis. Yeah. Okay. So... You don't make a perception check. Six. Yeah, you don't. You're not hearing much. I don't. I don't hear anything. I'm gonna. Let's see what's in this. 
and I try to push the door open. Okay, let me check. Yeah, this one is open, and you open it to find some hooks and chains reminiscent of your, maybe not Kairos's turn, but from what you've heard of the other three talking about and your various uh, campfire, not campfire, more like city fire, bedtime story talks. Uh, there's chains with hooks hanging from the ceiling, and there's a couple boar carcasses uh, laying against the wall. And this seems to be a a uh, like a cold storage type of area for meat. It's a, just a meat locker, guys. This is a weird house, strange yeah, place. Slobber <laughs> shops would love it down here, right? I mean, this this room is made for him. We should tell him about it. I don't think he knows about it. And uh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> that's, that's too far. <laughs> You know, just to fuck with them, let's the, leave the door open when we leave. Let all the meat go bad. That'll show them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but what about slobber chops? Uh, he can then we'll leave the door open so he can get in. He's going to come with us anyway when we leave my bed. So you guys continuing down? Yeah. yeah. Uh, are you guys stealthing or... <laughs> Would you like if to re-stealth? Can we re-stealth? That'd sure. probably be a fantastic idea. I mean, I don't know. Does it matter? I feel like I'm doing a phenomenal job, but if you really want me to like refocus Ooh. my efforts, I will do it. <laughs> I got an 18. Okay. I'm hanging out with uh, Kairos. I got an 8. 14. I got a 4. I got an 18. The roller coaster? 14. That is, okay, so that's an 11 average, I think. I'm doing the head math there. Uh, all right. Heading down, you see another door on the northern wall as you head west, iron door. And then about 10 feet past that, there's a, a double iron door in the southern wall of this tunnel. Jarvis, go listen at that one, and I listen at the first door, the non-double door. Okay. And I, instead of listening, I send a spider under me. To which one? Uh, the one that he didn't, the double? The double door, yeah. Yeah. The one okay. Harris didn't go to, the double. Are you having it stealth? Yes. Yes, of course I am. Of course I'm not. Let's pretend he's stealth with my six. Keep in mind, I can roll stealth for you guys if you don't want to, if you just don't want to know, and you can continue not metagaming. If it, you have a hard time not metagaming, I can do that. Um, all right. You said a six or seven? Six. Okay. All right. And he just kind of does the same. He's just going to continuously do the same thing where he kind of goes in, up on the ceiling. Yeah. It's going to be his new thing. Brian, what'd you get on your perception check? Seventeen. So you don't hear anything in this room either. And Jarvis, who's the, is anyone listening at this double door or is it just Jarvis sending his spider? Just Jarvis. Okay. Jarvis. In oh this yeah, my room, spider can't hear, can he? No, you, you can't hear. You can hear. Can my, oh, I can, I can still hear through the spider. Okay. Yeah. So you hear chanting, like it's soft as you're getting close to the crack of the door and then it gets much louder as you get under it. And what you see is two rows of tall wrought iron candlestick, wrought iron candlesticks light this vaulted chamber, each one bearing nine flickering candles. A seven foot tall statue of an angel with white glowing eyes and a long sword stands atop a dais to the south, a six-foot-tall fiend bristling with spines stands west of the statue. 
glaring at four black-robed cultists who kneel and chant in the middle of their room. Their faces Ooh. are hidden behind golden devil masks, and they're on the walls there are nine tapest- tapestries depicting uh, layers of the nine hells, various layers. How uh, many cultists did you say there were? Four. Gotcha. For the sake of time, I relay this to my... Yep. I, I uh, come back, my spider comes back, relay this to my party. Um, do you guys... Uh, there's more of those caped guys with the devil masks. You think we should, I don't know, try to blend in with them and see what's going on? They're, they're chanting and I was just the nine hells. Murder them. Yeah, that's how we're supposed to be, you know, cleaning it out. There's a there's a fiend in there, right? Yeah. Six this foot tall. He's, 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 he's spiky. No, the statue is of an angel. It the statue is oh, stone okay. and it has white glowing eyes. And the the devil, six foot tall fiend, bristling with spines, kind of stands next to the statue glaring at the cultists who are yeah, chanting. We gotta, we gotta kill that dude did i see yeah. any like a hallway that could have gone back to the door that kairos was looking down like i'm not sure i understand like does there the door kairos was looking at does it look like that might lead to the hallway going beyond like, is there a hallway at the other side of where they're at or so look he's like the two rooms like two connect. entrances yeah in any way, shape, or form. No, because Kairos was listening on a north, the northern wall, and you were looking on the... So this this tunnel goes east to west, very long, and Kairos is listening on the north wall, and you're, 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 you're at the southern wall. In, gotcha. Okay. And went through a door. Cool. Okay. I don't, I don't know. No, if yeah, I, you answered my question. Okay. I was trying to get at, is there a way we can come up on the two sides, but no. Well, this, this room's pretty quiet. Let's just check this one real quick. And, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a look. And I push that one open. It opens no problem. Uh, this room. Stick my head in. Looks like a dining room. There's two wooden trestle tables with benches, uh, flanking them, excuse me, in the middle of the room, which is brightly lit by six tall right wrought iron candlesticks spaced along the walls, each one six feet high, with nine lit candles at the top of it. You don't say. Oh, this is just a dining room. Let's go, uh, let's go fuck up some cults. Let's, <clears throat> excuse me. Do, you, do one of you have one of those healing potions, or do you want to take, like, a short rest or something before we go in there with a bunch of dudes? Oh, yeah, I mean... I have no healing potions, but I'm fine. You guys looking uh, kind of banged up. Yeah, I should probably uh, I should probably help myself out as well. Just uh, or could you could you do something for me, buddy? Tap my chest, and I'll I'll, I'll I'm gonna lay on hands myself. Uh, ten points. Can I use the inspiration to like aid this roll or anything? Uh, which roll? I assume he has to roll for he- for health. No, it's Not paladins have hands. like a pool of healing that they oh, can okay. call upon. I believe it's f- five times their level or something. Yeah. So it's just like HP points I can touch and give away or use on myself. So I pop myself a little bit and uh, Jerry, I'll uh, more can help you out too, buddy. And I pat you on the back and I'll cast cure wounds on you. That gives you seven points of healing damage. Or healing damage. Seven points of healing damage. Um, <laughs> kind of makes some, sense. Kind of does. But seven oh, points of healing to you, sir. A, a spike just like just like pushes its way out of my skin and falls out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else? Uh, no. You heading in? I'm good, yeah. All right, boys, let's get ready. Jarvis, One, where's your spider? Two. I brought him back. Okay. Uh, cool. And uh, Jerry's just like takes out his axe and he just like kisses it. Jerry sharpened, sharpened. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look into a morning star. All sides it's, work. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> 
All right, Jerry, you barge into that door. I'll barge into this door. One, two, three. I kick, kick the door off the hinges. So I shoulder my way in. As you're entering, the cultists are surprised. The bearded, or the, yeah, barbed devil that's walking up uh, yeah, noticed the instant something and was going I get... to investigate, so he's not surprised. Oh, okay. But you guys have can do something uh, to the cultists who are chanting and completely... Yeah, I want to take two... I want to take my shots off. All right. The cultists. Do it. All right. Do my first attack. That's a nat one. Second attack with the dread ambusher is 18 to hit. Yeah. Seven. Plus another D8. Another seven. Three seventeen damage. Yeah, how do you want to kill this one? These guys are have their back to you, kind of in a semicircle, facing the statue and chanting. Can I pin? It's a marble statue, isn't it? Yeah, it's stone. Yeah. They're kind of in the middle of the room. It's going to be difficult to pin them. All right, yeah, just through the chest, just body shot. Cool. Shoots him through the chest, hits the ground as the. Three other cultists are starting to realize what's going on. Anybody else? So we just get a free su- surprise. If you want. All right, I throw my javelin at one of the other ones. Okay. And I probably miss. Um, I throw a an eleven. Nope, just misses. Dang it! Clangs by one. Clank, big clank. I'm sprinting up to the big guy. Okay. Uh, he's not surprised. No, he's not. Uh, so we'll get to that uh, once we roll initiative. Yep. Gary? And I'm going to throw a firebolt at another one of the cultists. Okay. In the robes. And that is a 21. Yeah. My die is disappeared. And 10. That kills him. I assume you just throw a fireball to his face. At his face, okay. Hor- right in the death. right in the mask. Right in the mask. Horrible death. Right in the eyes. Uh, yep. Two of them are look dead or dying, and the other two uh, start standing up and pulling out their scimitars. Everybody, roll initiative. <laughs> Another fucking now one. <laughs> I'm rolling in this, like, drawer in the hotel desk. So I should stop it. Yeah, it's very loud. Oh, sorry. It's cool. <laughs> I guess That's what that noise is. I guess these headphones pick up everything. Okay. And this guy... Wow, that's a bad roll. Found a new thing to roll dice on, guys. Thanks, Hotel. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm just uh, filling this out. 25 to 20. 20 to 15. (laughs) 15 to 10. 14. Ten to five. Sorry, seven. And three. Yes, I can stay for two minutes. I didn't read the rest of the message because... It's irrelevant. (laughs) (laughs) You got the important part. (laughs) It's a <laughs> just like the way you said that. That's a relic. <laughs> okay. So uh top of the round, Jerry, you actually go first. Jerry like doesn't know what to do. He's like he's like looking around like why why no one else is attacking because it's the first time he's ever attacked first. You see this big gray <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you see this you... big gray uh barb devil covered in spikes. It's got r- just very dark 
iron uh, of mask, metal mask, and some armor, shoulder armor. That's the fiend? Yeah. Yeah. Six um, feet tall. And there's, there's no, there are no robed guys in front of me? Uh, you can go at a robed guy if you want. But are they closer? Yeah, you can get to them because they're all basically in the middle of the room, uh, especially oh. since the barbed devil was running forward. No, Jerry goes straight for the fiend, and uh, yeah. he's ra- he just rages. He's What's just like, his rage? Oh. He just goes, oh. oh, sorry, sorry. And uh, <laughs> he, he uh, gets, just whips out his, his great axe and just gives it a nice, like, lunging, like, lunging forward. Do it. Off the fiend, and he rolls a... Uh, Rules a twenty-two. Yes, that hits. Ooh. And you got roll the damage. Okay. So when I'm raging, it's plus two. So two plus strength or something. I don't know. Fourteen. Uh, yeah. So fourteen damage. Okay. And similar to the Spine Devils, when you hit this creature, this fiend, it uh, doesn't, it's not as effective as hits on such things such as the cultists. So uh, you got that not going for you. <laughs> Anything else? Nope. All right, Kairos, you're next to this Barb Devil if you'd like. Um, yes, I would like. I'm going to look at him and my eyes flare silver and I say, the Doombringer has chosen you and I use my channel divinity to, uh, to call out my vow of enmity. Um, that's my bonus action. Uh, I will gain advantage on attack rolls against it. Heck for yeah. One minute. Cool. Um, so I'll do that. I'm going to attack it. If you can believe that. I can. Uh, 21 to hit. Yep. And that does uh, 10 points of damage. Okay. And I'm going to Divine Smite the bitch. Okay. For (laughs) another... Where's my Divine Smite? And is he a fiend? Yes. So it does more damage to him. Mm. 15 more radiant damage. Okay. And uh, the flash that goes with this one, because it's against a fiend, which horror is a serious problem with, uh, is black rather than silver. Cool. The vengeance side of horror. Strikes. When you smite him, the effect that you saw with your your uh, maul or mace, uh, I forgot what you called it. Morning star. Morning star uh, is not as effective as you've seen with the spine devils. And then once you smite it, you feel like that has full effect. Sweet. Anything else? That will be it. Okay, it is Cultist 3. Come on down. Cultist 3 is going to run at Kairos with a scimitar. Yep, yep, yep. That's a 8 to hit. Not going to do it. Fuck that with my shield. Yeah, Rolikos. I am going to bonus action Hunter's Mark, the cultist that just hit Kairos. Cool. And then attack him with a natural 20. Yeah. Yeah, it's a low ass crit. It's 11 damage. Yeah. yeah you, how do you want to kill this thing? <clears throat> Through the neck. As he's winding up for his next swing, just starts gurgling blood, yeah. spits some blood on your armor, which I don't know if it's shiny, if you've described it as shiny or 
whatever. Not. Okay. And then, uh, well is worn. it a bonus action to move my hunter's mark? Terror drops here. Uh, before the ones you can use a bonus action. Yes, it is. So next turn I'll do that. Okay. End of that. All right. Now it is Odious's turn. The Barb Devil. Uh oh. And he's gonna multi attack with claws and its very spiky tail on you, Kairos. Yup. This is when I wonder if I should have done something different. <laughs> Whew. That is a 13 and a 9 to hit with the claws. <laughs> no, sir. All right. Take one on the shield, take the other on my chain shirt. Doesn't get through either. It's a nat 20 on the tail. <laughs> Gets through very thoroughly. <laughs> didn't didn't see the tail coming. That is nineteen piercing damage. As this tail claws at you, and this tail hits you right between your are you splint armor? Right between your armor. Chain. Chain. Well, it gets you right where the chain isn't in the armpit or something. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. That will be its turn. Jarvis. And there's still one left there's one of cultist. the rope. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I rolled a 16 to hit. Yes. I'm throwing a firebolt again. And uh, that is a damage. Okay. He's dead to the face, I assume. Oh, to the face. Right, right, right in the mask, right in the eyeball. Jerry. Um... Let's see. Uh, he's going to swing the axe again at the, the fiend for an 18. Yes. A minimal effect, probably. <laughs> Ooh, I wrote a 12 on the damage. Uh, so that's a uh, that's 18 damage. Nice. Anything else? No. Um, just uh, like a DM question: Am I allowed to like put my put my great axe away and like get out my shield? You know what I mean, or is that that's Are an you action? allowed to use a shield when you're raging and still gain benefits of the rage? No, by the if if I haven't basically if I use if I used my action to get out my shield and not attack somebody, then like if you don't attack somebody or take damage, like right. by the by the time your turn comes back around, you're not raging anymore. So you did do damage, but does yeah? The... I'm saying like I don't understand how shields work. Like, how can I? You can because I, I have a great axe, which is usually re- requires two hands. Right. So, so like, can I put my great axe away and then get out my? My question though is, I'm saying you can do that. Yeah, yeah. But as a bonus action, sure. Yeah. I'm saying you can a free action. Uh, I'm saying you can, but does that turn off your rage? Because does the rage say anything about? You can rage as long as you're not wearing armor and using a shield. Mm, it doesn't say that in the like on my character sheet. I don't know. I can research that okay. in my next turn. You're good. I, you can I, use, just, you, I wasn't going to rage do with a shield. Was that? You can rage with a shield. You're good. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't want to do that. I'm just. I'm just asking. Um, okay. Just in case, because I think it's just going to keep going after Kairos anyway. Okay, Kairos. Oh, I'm up. I'm going to hit it. Good old vow of enmity saving me from that one. Um, let's see. That is a 17 to hit. Yes. That is seven points of bludgeoning demo. Okay. This thing is snarling and spitting. And do any of you speak infernal? Yes. <laughs> I do as well. I much. also do. <laughs> really? Wow. I can't believe I'm suspecting <laughs> no's all around there. I mean, I think there was probably, which is fine, some like, we're playing Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. <laughs> I, I might need Infernal. Yeah. Um, he's just basically saying you guys are uh, not welcome here. You didn't even announce your arrival. It's rude to enter a space this way. Uh, you didn't even wipe your feet on them. Welcome, Matt. And then it says it's going to sp- 
paint the walls with your blood and save some of it for a uh, stew later. And uh, just this is just going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, Kairos, that was your turn. Relicos? Uh, bonus action, move my hunter's mark to the fiend. Okay. And then take a sharpshooter attack at it. 13 plus 2. 15 to hit? Just hits. Ooh, nice. Plus, shit, where'd it go? 9 plus 10, 19 damage. Nice. And Hunter's Mark, it doesn't specify what kind of damage it does. I'm assuming it just adds the damage to your regular attack. So if it's a non-magical weapon, it's a non-magical damage. Yeah. Okay. Correct. All right. Anything else? That's it for me. Okay. The Barb Devil is going to look at you, Jerry. Uh-oh. And it's going to... Claw... For a 13 and a 16. The 16 hits, the 13 does not. All right. That's a 9 piercing damage. And its tail attack misses you by a lot. Which is good. That's its turn. Jarvis. And Jarvis is going to do his usual firebolt, this fiend. He is not going to firebolt this fiend. I'm going to fire off a shot to the right. Okay. <laughs> I rolled uh, 11. Nope, that won't do it, Jerry. Back to the top. Jerry's going to miss with his axe. Swinging a miss. You hear the voice of Vin Scully echo. <laughs> the, uh, the fiend is kind of like moves out of the way and it's kink and I've got it like stuck in the ground and then Ugh. you're thinking to yourself like I should have used the flat end should have used the flat end god damn it Kairos uh, definitely hits 24 to hit but a low damage that is 5 damage 2 damage 2 damage alright anything else Nope. Roller coast. Sharpshooter attack. Mod 20. Yep. 10, 13. 23 damage. Nice. That's it. Cool. Now it's starting to not say any intelligible words. It's just grunts and... And, uh screaming at you guys and starting to thrash a lot more uh, as its black Icarus blood is starting to pour from various wounds you've inflicted upon it. All right, it is Odious's turn. It's going to go after Kairos. Yes. Actually, no. It's going to hurl a flame at Rollercoast because fucking Rollercoast is doing Mass work. Massacring everything. <laughs> <laughs> doing it's work. Sharpshooter. Who needs his freaking stats, man? <laughs> right? 23 Just, to hit? Yeah, that hits. That is... 17 damage of fire damage. Noted. As he throws this, this, he picks up his hideous hand and a flame starts to uh, grow out of it and throws it and <sighs> uh, hits you and burns like a mother. Yeah, it does. Cool. Jarvis. Uh, all right. Um, Jarvis is going to cast a sleep at first level. And that was a 
5d8. I got an 11 on my con save for Hunter's Mark. Cool. Which passes. Yep. Thank you for taking that upon yourself. I appreciate that. 18. You cast it and no effect. Ah. Mark off the spell slot, sir. I did. Cool. Jerry. Um, question about inspiration. Can I only use it for saving throws? Or? No, you can use it for your attack if you want advantage. Um, can I use it for damage? No, no. Okay. Um, he just, I use my axe again and I get a 20. Are you using your inspiration? No, no. Okay. Um, yeah. I uh, get a 20 and I get, uh, I only got eight damage. That's why I was asking. Okay. So I hit him in the toe. <laughs> he's injured, not as much as you would hope, but he's definitely mm -hmm. taking damage. All right. Kairos. Man, I've gotten so many nat ones that don't count it's a great thing yeah uh, <laughs> 22 to hit and yes. that is a whopping 11 points of damage five nine. Nine. all right that's all i'm gonna do Rollercos. i am going to cure wounds myself after that okay three plus one i get one, I get four life, and that is the end of my turn. Okay. It's now Odious's turn. All right. It's going to hurl flame, and I didn't read that I can do it twice in one turn, so uh, it's going to do it twice this time instead of once. Uh, at one at Rollercoast, 24... Yep. And one at Kairos with disadvantage. That is 16. No, sir. Okay. Wow. Take that on my shield. <sighs> it's very scary, though, because he's right there, and it just throws it at your... You're in close combat. Uh, that's six fire damage to oh, you, wow. Rolicos. That was a lot more pleasant than last time. I rolled six, six, five on the last time. Oh, okay. Which is on D sixes. Yeah, pretty it's a big roll. Uh, okay, that's the Barb Devil's turn, Jarvis. All right, Firebolt. Uh, eighteen. Yes, to hit two yeah. dam two damage. Okay, Jerry. Round me. I'm going to attack recklessly. <laughs> of course, I get a nat 20 on the first the first roll. Um, so that's a 26. And Double your damage on your dice, not your bonuses. Yeah, okay. Um, so that's 16 damage. Okay. Uh, Kairos. Didn't save me this time. Uh, that's a 10. Nope. Rollercoast. 19 on my con save, because I forgot till just now. Okay. Taking my attack. 17 to hit? Yes. Uh, 13. Plus three, sixteen damage. I didn't sharpshooter that one. Okay. It's looking rough. Odious's turn. It's going to hurl a flame at you, Jarvis. For shit. what? I said shit because I don't have my mage armor. Oh, I thought you said like hit. I was like, I mean, no. It, I mean, I don't have my mage armor up, so it's probably <laughs> going to hit. Uh, it was a 13. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's going to hit. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to go after you again, Kairos. This time, 19 to hit. That'll get through. 
But it does less damage. That <laughs> is on you, Kairos. That is 15 fire damage. Okay, halved. And that is 7 fire damage on you, Jarvis. Mmm, yummy. Jarvis, it's your turn. I'm angry, and I'm going to throw a fireball at this asshole. Trade in fire. Okay. Fire. 17 to yeah. hit with 9 damage. Cool. Die, motherfucker. And I'm going to, in Infernal, I'm going to kill you. And it's pretty pretty well uh, accepted its fate. It's barely hanging on. Uh, Jerry. Gosh, these turns come around so fast. Um. Yeah, there's only one opponent. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And you guys are doing good at being ready for your turn. So I can use my what's the, what's the uh, role on the initiative on the initiative or sorry the uh, inspiration? Just you can take advantage with it if you want. You can use it to get advantage on your attack if you. So like. if I'm already getting advantage with attacking recklessly, what do I do? You don't have to attack recklessly if you don't want to. Okay, I just attacked. Re I just did advantage anyway, and I still didn't. I it's a thirteen. Okay. Does a thirteen hit? Nope. Okay. Kairos. He misses. Double 14, so that's a mod 20 to hit. Yep. And that does 10 points of damage. Cool. Rollercoast. Sharpshooter. Don't miss. 21. Yeah, that hits. And then that's 2 plus 4, it's 6, plus 3 is 9, plus 10 is 19. How do you how do you finish this guy off? <clears throat> Can he be pinned to anything? No. <laughs> um just me <laughs> <laughs> no uh just through the chest okay fair it's enough the easiest shot <laughs> fair enough he's already looks like a pin cushion because he's a a barbed devil and yeah. then adding the arrows that are already in in it it's even worse and it's just goes down and uh starts to, to melt away slowly uh, into a black ichor of some kind. What would you like to do? <coughs> Loot the cultist. Jer Jerry just... Oh, uh, we're still in initiative? Okay. I mean, oh, no. uh, you're out of initiative. What would out you like initiative. to do? Jerry just goes over to the, the goop and he just, like, like scoops up some and he's just like, oh, God, what are these things? Very viscous. Ugh. It's like petroleum oh, jelly. Just out of curiosity, how close was I to putting him to sleep? Not even close. Oh, okay. Seems like he was slower. I'm going to make my way and approach the angel statue. It seems very out of place. Okay. Um, one sec. Make a religion check if you like. If you want to know if it Anything about it? I rolled an 18, so that's a 17. Because I'm so smart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, 17. So you think this is an, an angel. Uh, that's about it. It's weird that there'd be an angel statue down here, guys. I don't know what that's about. You guys want me to take ten minutes and just see if it's magical? I kind of want to take ten minutes and uh, stop bleeding, personally. Sounds yeah. like a plan. I could use a breather. Maybe, maybe a couple more minutes than ten. Yeah. As some would call it, a short rest. Some might call you it. You want to do an rest. hour? Are there any other? Uh, are you just doing it in this room? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm asking. Are there any other entrances or exits to this room, or is it just the double doors that we came in? Make a investigation check if you want to search for... It doesn't look like there's anything, but if you want to search... It's a six <clears throat> for that. Are you guys just letting him 
thinking he's good at investigation? This room seems pretty secure. We can board up these I, doors and then take him through there. After he, the yeah. coffin incident, I would probably be wary of his eyesight. Sure. That's what I was trying to remind you of. Make a investigation check. Yeah, Jarvis doesn't trust all of it. You find a... No, well, of course, I looked over there. I uh, checked it out. <laughs> what you said last time, but I just keep... <laughs> So you find a uh, a what you think is a door. It blends in with the surface of the walls, and uh, it's in the southern wall next to where the barb devil was running from. Once you guys entered the room, it might oh, have been a... his original <coughs> position. Uh, hey guys, I think the uh, the barb devil may have been guarding this, and I bring everybody over to point it out. Kairos, do you see? Um, I thought that was just a brick. Yeah, I mean, I saw it. I just all right. We'll get you there. It doesn't look like a door. It looks like a door. You also found another door adjacent to it, <laughs> and then there's this door. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, 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 yeah, Jarvis um, has been casting uh, a ritual of uh, detect magic. Okay. Should we should we take an hour in this room with our backs just up against the doors, holding them closed? Uh, we could do that. We could. I mean, there's that dining room. Uh, we could duck That's in there. True. We could go duck into the dining. Someone room. might try to go safer. get food, and we can deal with them if that happens. Um, or the meat locker. It's me locker. That's cool. Less comfortable. And while I'm casting detect magic, I'm like, hey guys, I can keep an eye out with my spider. He can just stay farther away from us and I'll let you know if something's coming. What if it comes the other way? I can't help you there. <laughs> yeah, I still go back to the dining room. Yeah, let's hang out in the dining room. That's a better idea. Plus the dishes looked pretty decent. They had like nine candles lighting up the joint. Nine. Are you going to wait for me, or are you guys just leaving me? We'll wait for you. I mean, it's just right across the hallway. I'll wait for you. As you guys are talking, the door <laughs> in the southern wall bursts open, and <laughs> shit. And, and you guys didn't want <laughs> to leave me. And a very large, old, older woman. Oh, uh, okay. Does she have forearms? Yeah. Does she I have found, fucking I found mo- massive I found forearms? And she I goes, Oh, yeah, it's on now, motherfuckers. And uh, roll initiative. Oh, shit. shit. Did, shit. I get to, did I get to finish casting my ritual or no? No. Of course not. Because oh, why would I get that joy? Ooh, this is going to be good. Ah, natural 20. I have no spells. I have very wife one. Okay. It's okay. I have spells. I have five of them. Use them. I'm going to. Well, yeah, one, of them be, one, of them about, one of them is about to be Mage Armor. <laughs> Not making that mistake again. Okay. <clears throat> She's not, so it's, I'm going to pull up a picture, because it's a very good picture. I'm going to be four disappointed arms better no matter be what. Huge. They're fucking She's, huge. There better be four of them. <laughs> there is not, because I'm not an idiot. <laughs> is this Thalamra? Yeah. Thalamra? Yeah. This is Mama Bear. Okay. Boop, boop. Don't know why I need to make that sound effect. <laughs> she doesn't. She has some forearms. She's got some meaty forearms and big fists. Oh, yeah. she looks beautiful and angry. She's very. Disgusting. That's pretty much exactly what she looks like she seems to have resting bitch face too 
It's possible. 25 <laughs> to 20. I mean, after dealing with her son. Mm-hmm. Uh, natural 20 was so, plus 2. So 22. Yeah. I just got excited about my natural 20. I haven't had any. So let me have my fun. <laughs> you can have your fun. Uh, all right. Not that I'm going to use it for anything. Exciting. 20 to 15. 15. 17. What'd you get, Jer? 14. All right. Jarvis. Important question. Are we in dark or dim light? I assume <laughs> yes. You're in dim. There's Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. I first cast my mage armor, mm-hmm. and I bonus action as a... Uh, threads of shadow create a sword solidified in gloom in my head. Cool. As I cast Shadow Blade. Excellent. And that was my bonus action, and I'm going to stay about 30 feet away from her. Okay. I'm within distance of her right now. Sounds good. Kairos. Um, I'm going to summon up the silver light of horror and tap my chest and give myself nine points of lay on hands. That hurts. <laughs> I don't feel very good. Um, and then, so that's my action. Um, and I fucking totally forgot about, um, Rhea. Jesus Christ. You been here the whole time? <laughs> oh, I didn't think she came with well, us. I, yeah, I didn't think she came with us to the manor. Uh, I guess she would have wanted to. Yeah, she she would have. The whole I had just f- totally blanked on it. Totally um, she probably wouldn't have helped your your stealth checks though because of what you did. Didn't we need natural need ones? It? Yeah. yeah no, your stealth checks like in the when you were trying to jump over the wall and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, There's yeah, a yeah. natural one there too. Yeah, oh, was there? <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's how we got seen. You're so, welcome. So yeah, we'll say uh, she runs in the room. Oh, sorry guys, <laughs> I got distracted. Uh, I was just uh, reading some of uh, Thirstwell's books, and <laughs> she's gonna roll initiative and try to help. balls. Holy shit, that's a bad roll. Where have you been? Well, it's better late than never. Oh, she got to come through and see everything pinned to walls and ceilings. I've been like, good God. <laughs> That's how she found us. Yeah. Okay. All right. Kairos, you healed yourself. Anything else? Uh, no, I'm just going to hunker down behind my shield. Okay. The Relicos. <clears throat> Bonus action, move my hunter's mark. Is it still up? And then that is a 14 to hit. Yes, that does hit. 10 damage. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Anything else? That's it. Jerry? Uh, Jerry's going to rage and... See, he uses uh, reckless attack, and he gets a fourteen. Yep. And he's he's she's throwing his javelin. So, uh, oh, d six. So it's uh, seven damage. Okay. When the javelin hits her, she goes. That's enough of this. And uh, make a uh, dexterity saving throw, Jer. Okay. She? Uh, Let's see. That is a 10. That's a fail. Oh, two ones on these damage rolls. (laughs) <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, blue flames erupt from Jerry after he throws it, just around him, burning him for 11 fire damage. 
I'm so glad I decided to rage. All right. Anything else, Jer? Uh, that's it. And uh, it's the Lamorous turn. She's going to multi-attack. He's, oh, she can do either. Nope, she's just going to... She cracks her knuckles at you, Kairos, and said, I've choked better men than you. And then she's going to... Start okay. swinging. Like your sons? That's a, wow, that's a nat 20 on one. Ouch. And a 23 on the other. Ouch. So she just goes, boom, boom. And any, like, armor is pretty much ineffective. Yeah. But All it's only right. four bludgeoning damage. Still very intimidating, though. Total of four? No. Uh, so that would be... It's four, period, so that's eight. It gets doubled, so that's 12. Because both hit. Gotcha. All right. It's her turn. Rhea's turn. I'm sorry, guys. This is... I just... And she's going to shoot her heavy crossbow at the Lamra. Yeah, that's an unnatural 20. And where did I put that? Pretty good. Uh, the bolt shoots into Thalamra's chest and just sticks there. And she, you can see her kind of reflexively flexing. That's it for Rhea. She's going to run closer, though, and close the distance and get right next to you, Kairos, which is right next to the Lamra. And draw her weapons. So, Jarvis. Is she still 30 feet from me? Yeah. Okay. I go 10 feet forward, and I just throw my uh, shadow blade at her. And I have advantage... I can throw it within my uh, my range properties of 2060, and then I have advantage in dim light. Cool. Does it go away when you throw it? Like it after does, you... but it appears back on my next turn as oh, a bonus cool. action. Uh, so uh, 18 plus... Yep. Yeah, I don't know what modifier it would be. I guess it would be just my plus 4 modifier? Yeah, her AC is 14. You're still good. Cool. And then I get, I'm sorry, I forgot what I get out of that. I think it's D8. Yeah. It's going to be 2D8. Cool. Eleven damage. Okay. And she is going to... And you just see it disappear. It disappears and back in your hand, is that correct? On my next turn, I believe I have to use a bonus action. Yeah. Okay. So make it disappears, it and then she glares at you and make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, that bitch. Oh, and I also would step back again 10 feet. Um, but yeah. Uh, 13? Fail. Eleven fire damage. As similar blue flames erupt around Jarvis. You're Ouch. hellishly rebuked. Jarvis isn't feeling good anymore. All right. Kairos. I'm bleeding all over when I look back and I say, and I've smited better women than you. <laughs> As my arm just is wreathed in flame and then it just sucks into the maze and your morning star and concentrates, which is a ball of spiky fire at the end. Uh, and that's my searing smite. Nice. And then I'm going to try to hit her. God, I hope I hit her. <laughs> 16 to hit. So I do hit her. Swinging at her as your face starts to swell a little bit from getting... Pumped. Yeah, my eyes are swelling shut. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
So that's nine points of piercing damage and nine points of fire damage. And she needs to make a... Oh, no, that's at the beginning of her turn. Okay. Nice. Anything else? No. I'm just going to stand here in pain. Relicos. Great, great pain. Sharpshooter attack. 21 to hit. Yes. 10 plus 3 is 13 plus 10. 23 damage. Damn! Jerry. Jerry just gets gets at it with the axe. Just, just a nice straight on axe in her shoulder. 18 to hit. 9 damage. He goes... He goes, your kids are the only only people I didn't want to be friends with. My kids are scumbags, are her last words as you murder her. Oh, sweet. sweet. What side of the axe was it? Good. Sharp. The oh, sharp, side. sharp side. Oh, snap. Yeah. The Duke Very is dead. dead. <laughs> and uh, Rhea kind of looking down at Thalamra, um, here's, you guys hear like a, a whimper and she looks in and, uh, she says, Thavius! And, uh, starts to run in there. Uh, and you hear some doors slam. You're out of initiative. What would you like to do? follow I her i take like two steps and go, oh, really okay. <laughs> yeah right, I'm, let's also, go. I'm also bleeding so none Thavius, of us look great Thavius is, the duke. <laughs> Thavius is the missing duke Thavius uh is the oh former he's the, uh, duke of el yeah. who has some suspicious activity Disappeared. he's also the one who i believe i told you guys this you guys rolled some sort of history check uh Elturel was being attacked by undead, and he summoned somehow a cube of radiant light above the city, the second sun above the city that repels undead, kind of saving the city, and he became a hero. Uh, that's Thavius. Uh, but then he went to uh, Avernus, and, or he went to another city. In a, he went a, to Baldur's and he, Gate, and, and then disappeared. the city disappeared. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I believe, was it Thirstwell or Amrick who told you that Thavius was working with his mother? Amrick? Both of them mentioned it. Uh, yeah. Thirstwell is the one who gave us the name Gorgoth and the shield of the Hidden Lord that they're working on. Cool. So you uh, guys yeah. are chasing definitely... after Rhea? Yeah, we definitely yeah. chase. As I'm chasing, I uh, use my last spell slot to cure wounds myself. Okay. Fair enough. All right. 11 points. Max roll. You guys round the corner into the southern east-west hallway. And uh, Rhea is 20 feet ahead of you in the hallway. And... Um, Thavius is running and turning south, and you guys notice one of the sconces or the hanging lights on the wall casts a shadow, and the shadow is not of the person you're seeing, it just looks like just a, a kind of a, a fat version of the spine devils uh, that you fought um, with wings and such. And he disappears south as you guys are chasing. And uh, a few moments later you hear a slam and then you hear another slam. And coming around the corner you see Rhea is banging on a large door. Oh, sorry. One sick.
and uh, she is she's taken out her short sword and she's jammed it in a keyhole, and uh, looks like she's trying to prevent something from locking it. I think that's I say, a, yeah, go ahead, Brad. I say Ray out of the way as I just locomotive barge into the door, sprinting at it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me check the door strength and such. Make a strength athletics check. Make it good. Eight. I want it to be like a cartoon where you just see your shape of your body go through the door, like a hole in the door. <laughs> nope. Yeah, unfortunately not. He, two, he, two plus six. He for slams an against it and... Uh, uh, Jerry follows suit. So Jerry, oh, make an as I roll <laughs> off, as I roll off, holding my shoulder, like, oh god, now it hurts more. <laughs> I rolled in that one. Jerry, oh god, no. oh god. You slam into it, and oh. Rayo's like looking at you guys, still just like trying to keep do something with the sword to see if she can stop this man from locking the door. Uh, and that's where we're gonna leave it for this session, guys. All right. Nice. We burned through a lot of combat there. Yeah, we. I need a. I need you guys a rest. Are surprisingly efficient. Efficient and um, yeah, just in the accidentally efficient in the ways you wouldn't, you couldn't possibly know. Uh, you just got through a bunch of stuff that I thought was going to mm. take longer. Uh, cool. Nice. Well, well done, uh, everybody. <laughs> We'll be back next week, I think, Monday at 7 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, anybody have anything they'd like to plug, socials or anything like that? No. no. Nope. Nope. Okay. I have been the Dungeon Master for this session. I'm Jake Friday. You can find me on Twitter at Jake Friday at Jake of the Friday on Instagram. Follow Venture Ventures at Venture Ventures on both platforms. If you'd like to find out when the YouTube post of the episode and the podcast goes up. And I think that's it. I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. Christmas is coming up. It's either good a good time Cyber or a Monday. bad time. Just Just happy Cyber, Cyber Monday to everybody. Happy Cyber Monday, you know? Happy reinvent. Hope, hope you got a good deal. Hope hope you, you added to hope. your credit card debt. <laughs> <laughs> because, hope you got that three hundred dollar seventy inch flat screen. Yeah, this whole brand. our whole econo economic <laughs> system was... is based on debt and credit. So, and I hope you enjoyed all of your electronics that are purposely dumbed down for Black Friday for the discount and lacking right. features. Why are they dumbed down? That's because that's how they put know. it on sale. They they take features out, and then you don't realize until you're like, why is this thing a piece of junk? Because you bought it on Black Friday. So are they not dumbed down if you buy them any other time of the year? Yeah, they're awesome. generally they're, they're specific. They're specific models that they only release for like really cheap sales. Whoa. So that's how they can lower the price on the holiday, and a lot of people go buy them. And yeah, the ones that are on sale are always like some off-brand thing. It's never like a you know a normal good brand model. Even if it is, it's, Even it's generally it is. lacking the hardware. Well, or, or they raised the price a month ago so that they could drop it to the regular price and say it's a sale. Or that. That's the other thing they do. It's real fun. Anyway. On that, on that <laughs> inspiring and helpful, it's actually helpful information. I hope you didn't spend money on any of those products. <laughs> But all the uh, all the player source books and everything are on sale right now too. There are some they are. that are worth it. <laughs> yes, it's like digital products ninety nine <laughs> for the entire collection, except for the the D and D books. Like the art's all dumbed down. <laughs> like, I guess they could do low that. resolution. It'd be horrible. It's it's like pixelated eighties style. Um, yeah. We'll we'll Big end words. it here just before we go off on <laughs> tangent any more than we already another have another one. Uh, be excellent to others and be excellent to yourself. We'll catch you next week. Bye. Bye.